All right, welcome back. Now, the South African Communist Party's 14th National Congress is on its fourth day today. Uh, last night, the organization held its uh, top leadership elections, of course, with not so much changing on the leadership. But let's find out what uh, today holds in store for us. And our reporter is there, um, Eldrin St. Pierre. Eldrin, it's a very good morning to you. Yes, uh, good morning, Balisa. The Congress continues here in Boxburg. It's actually day three of the Congress. The, remember, there was some confusion when... Um, the Congress started. Um, some believe that it would start on Monday, but actually Monday was just the press briefing um, that we had spelling out um, what to expect in terms of the Congress and all the logistics involved. And um, day one started officially on Tuesday. And yesterday we had the elections of the top officials, as you've indicated, actually no major changes there, except uh, for Solima Pailao, who used to be the second deputy, well, the second deputy um, general secretary. Now he is the first general secretary after the likes of, um, after Jeremy Cronin also decided that he will no longer stand. That's the position that he held previously. And now the person who takes over from uh, Solima Pailao is uh, Chris Matabu. He is the new second deputy general secretary of the party. Um, someone on Twitter was describing the elections yesterday as it would seem as though that it was a, a, some sort of a church elections. No major contestation um, for the various positions and actually all those positions went uncontested. Right now I'm joined by the General Secretary of um, the Young Communist League, um, Lulek Inlegani. Thank you so much for joining us um, this morning. Something that I want us to go straight into at this point is um, organizational renewal and um, organizational generational mix of the party. Some might argue that if you look at the top six of um, the SACP, it's really just old people, you know? Um, where are the young voices? Why aren't the young voices part of um, the top six officials? Uh, good morning to the viewers and everybody. It's quite important that uh, first you congratulate the new elected leadership of the SACP. In the Young Communist League, we are very happy with the outcomes of these elected leaders. However, I must say that uh, we are more than delighted because uh, this leadership that we wanted to emerge out of this Congress. To us as young communists, not about positions, about uh, young people being in positions. It's about uh, being, having leaders who are committed to the cause. And these are the great leaders who will deliver on, on what we want. What we want is socialism in our lifetime. I also want to say that in terms of the age of politics, all these comrades have been elected here does qualify a young because of their, their age in politics. Second is that uh, from a masculine point of view, the age of youth representation or the so-called generation mix mm -hmm. is an issue that we, we are more concerned about it uh, because we've been part of their leadership inclusion because to us, top six is not only the structure, the whole structure is the central committee. And in the Central Committee, we've got a number of, of, of young leaders who are already part of that structure. For instance, uh, we can even mention uh, the likes of Comrade Budi Manamela, who are part of that, of that committee. And we are quite happy with the progress. But the thing, the thing about that is that you guys don't speak the same language, as I was telling you earlier on as well. For instance, the Young Communist League is saying state power. The top six officials, well, um, Jeremy Cronin is not part of the top six anymore, but when he delivers his presentation on state power this, um, this afternoon, we expect him to say that not right now, let's not take too many firm decisions, as he has said already during the press briefing. You guys don't speak the same language, and you have said yesterday already that um, the ranks are being swelled by young people, but the young people are be aren't being represented at a top level, at the top six. I don't know maybe what you mean about young people because Solima Paila is young, Komil Chris is young. But in the main, it's not true that uh, there is a disjuncture and, and uh, non understanding between the membership and the top six. These top six are the servants of, 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 of this membership. All what they will take, the decision solely depends on the delegates in this Congress. All what they do, they are just the servants of uh, committing that decision. In the main, they have to provide leadership. Leadership is provided in a different way. Sometimes we want to uh, have a, a firm view on a position, but to get persuaded. Because as, as communists, we believe on the power of persuasion. Also, we didn't come here as young communists, it's state power or nothing. 
That is not a, an approach of a Marxist organization. We came here to persuade delegates. And we are happy that almost 90% is almost resonating with our view as young Communist League. But also, it can be 90% agreeing with us. But as a communist, we have been taught that we must consider three things, time, space, and the conditions. Therefore, if we are persuaded, we won't say no, we are defeated. But we will understand that leadership is playing its role in the interest of the people of South Africa, in the interest of our revolution, and in the interest of the party itself. Would you say that the criticism against um, the General Secretary um, uh, Blade in Zimande, that he's been in that position since uh, 1998. He still remains there. Um, he's just been elected um, yesterday as well, unopposed. That the criticism is unfair. You even spoke yesterday about how the media would compare him um, to, to Robert Mugabe, who's been in that position for years. I must say that uh, we're quite angry as young Communist League that, uh, in particular, maybe let's teach our people what is Communist Party. Communist Party is not ANC, it's not Sanko, it's not, it's not, it's not COSATU. How we do things as communists, we don't have terms uh, as an organization. As long as that leader has got uh, capabilities and you look at the program of action we want to take forward and you feel that that is the leader that can take us forward. Secondly, we subscribe to collective uh, leadership whereby you elect one leader as a general secretary, but we've got deputies and other comrades as, as the collective. We must say that uh, that is the very important thing that people must know. And we, we challenge people to go out and, 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 and study in other countries, other communist countries, how the issue of communist organization conducts the issue of leadership. The leadership question in all communist organization is not a point of weaknesses. However, because people are, are, are living in, in South Africa, whereby other organizations speak about terms and so on, not in the communist party. Hence, we, we, we felt so bad because Comrade Blade have done so much for the SACP and still got a confidence on him to leading the Communist Party moving forward. But also we're happy because among the things that he said on, when we were closing the political report, that now, as part of organizational renewal, let's begin to engage on the issue of succession. In a nutshell, he was saying to us as delegates that he is not coming back in the next term. Therefore, let's begin the processes on the succession. We must say that also the party will... So, 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 sorry, just a quick one. So is it because he's not coming back and now you guys want to accept him not coming back? Or is it because he's not coming back but you still believe in his leadership skills? Which one is it of the two? Okay. No, I think among the things and the context and the content was being around was that in line with our organization renewal, in line with the, with the coming uh, special national congress, We'll have now to begin to think about the future of the party. Because on his mind, he understands that age-wise, he uh, might, might, might be older in the next five years. Or else he sees, he sees some potentials among the leaders who can lead moving forward. Therefore, among the things he gave the delegates that begin as part of discussions on organizational renewal to think about what kind of leadership will be needed to take the party forward. Among the things that leadership should provide is that should be foresighted to think about the future because he doesn't think about himself. But if after we have discussed organizational renewal, we have allocated the task and the program and we feel that this is a leader that must, must take this program forward, even if it's him again, we will say no, come back and lead this program. As we said even earlier to him that no, come and lead us. At this time, you cannot change. For instance, we, we, we told him that you cannot change a pilot, uh, 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 let's say when a truck is in motion. Yeah. You cannot change the driver whilst he's still on, on the road. It must first arrive on the road, on its final attention, then you change the, the, the driver. Mlilekil Delang, I thank you so much for your time. Actually, the analogy that um, Bladen Zamanda used during the press conference was that when the truck is going down a slippery slope, you mustn't change um, the drivers. And I guess that was displayed yesterday with the new leadership elected unopposed and, of course, Chris being a new addition um, to the leadership of Kosati. We'll continue with our coverage of the Congress. We'll bring you various reaction to what unfolded yesterday, but also the future of the party. Also, discussions expected.
circulated around um, the reports on state capture. The South African Council of Churches will be delivering a presentation as well as the ANC veterans. Remember that they decided not to be part of the ANC policy conference and the two-day consultative conference that was set aside. It's back to you in studio.